Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to speak about something a little bit different than that which we normally speak about. Uh, today we're going to speak about a third party vendor, well a Pacific third party vendor who goes by the name of Pop Goes the Monkey. Now I'm sure a lot of people already know about this chap and some of the stuff he does, So, for, but for those of you who don't know, he basically makes symbols uh, for shoulder pads, uh, vehicles, he actually made, he's actually made some of his, like, own stuff uh, which can fit onto certain vehicles and stuff like that to spice them up a little bit more and all that kind of stuff. But the big thing uh, I want to discuss is that apparently um, the website he uses, Shapeways, has removed uh, around 302 items from his personal catalogue. Uh, so this is what we're going to discuss today and uh, discuss what could be the reason for it and uh, who could be behind it. So let's jump in. And uh, let's get started. So if anyone actually wants to go and check out his store at the moment, uh, the link is in the description. I'll leave it there for you to go and check out. And you can look around and you can kind of get the general sense of what I mean about some of the stuff he produces for shoulder pads and stuff like that. Some of the stuff uh, which I previously mentioned, he's basically made himself to fit on other vehicles like this turrets, like Gatlin turrets and stuff that goes on top of vehicles. Uh, they're still on the site at the moment. There's actually kind of a lot of stuff already still on the site i don't know if it's like in the process of being removed at the moment or the stuff that has been removed has now just been officially removed but this leads back to the whole circle of uh, gw and protecting their ip and at the end of the day this guy did make a lot of stuff which was G gw's uh, ip proper and um i can kind of understand why they've done it because at the end of the day a company like GW a big company which has shareholders and all that kind of stuff has to protect the IP because if they don't then it can be abused very very badly and cost money to the actual shareholders themselves now there's some things on his page which he claims that there are his own designs himself now I can kind of understand where he's coming from but also I could probably argue on the side of GW where he's made some designs which have some kind of GW logo on them for example while some of uh, while, while some symbols such as like I don't know the Roman numerals lightning bolts uh, you have like schools and all that kind of stuff these symbols are fine you can't really copyright them because it's just general use items uh, whereas you know you have some of the chaos stars and stuff like that which is definitely GW's property like you can have wolf heads and stuff like that that's fine but once you start doing the wolf heads in the shape of the space wolf wolf head which GW basically owns then that's where it starts crossing that border of getting into some very murky and mucky waters I would actually love to speak to a, a lawyer on this and I actually have a copyright lawyer as a friend, Arcanus. You probably saw her on some of my streams. He's actually a copyright lawyer, but obviously he's in the US. He's not on at the moment. It's early morning for me. He's probably sleeping at the moment. So what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to actually jump on and ask him some questions and then maybe do an update video with some of his responses and stuff because I'd love to get some uh, feedback from someone who's actually in the job of law and uh, t t taking stuff like this to court because I know he's worked for some big companies before which have done some uh, big cases based around uh, these issues. Now this may sound familiar because uh, I think it was like two or three years ago now there was a, a website called Chapter House Studios and they had this huge big legal battle with GW because GW claimed some of their items and said oh, you have to take that down you're breaking our copyright the chap took him to court and I think he won uh, if I'm not mistaken he won some of the designs which they the, the court basically said, no, you can't copyright that. That's like a general use design. I think it was like the ultramarine symbol and all that kind of stuff. I'm not really too up to date on that case. I can't. I've, I actually tried to find the outcome online somewhere, but for my, I just couldn't find it at all. So if someone could post that, a link to that and the outcome to that would be great in the comment section. I'd love to go read that and get some feedback on actually that case because I don't know what this guy's planning. I don't think he's planning any legal action. I'm actually on his Facebook page now and he's just posting about certain stuff like what's going on and uh, some of the designs that are taken down. He's apologizing to his customers that have got orders orders cancelled and all that kind of stuff. So those people who have obviously ordered the stuff that's been copyrighted uh, and uh, been taken down, 
uh, obviously your orders have been cancelled so uh, if you have ordered something from this chap I would go and check your emails just in case uh, you may you may have an email from uh, probably Shapeway saying your order has uh, been cancelled so this leads to the slippery slope of is this acceptable a sites like this acceptable in our industry as people who enjoy this hobby as hobbyists and uh, it's, it's quite a mucky water it, it, it really is for example right I've bought some third-party decals uh, for um, my executioners now just because of these decals this site which made these decals and the pop goes a monkey makes execution stuff as well or he did make execution stuff just because of these sites it made me go out to a GW and spend nearly 500 pound on models I mean, I bought the full Primaris line just because I wanted to make an executioner army, and I had the pads which were third party being made, I had the decals third party being made to support the army. If I didn't have that content from third party sources, I wouldn't have probably gone out and bought as much as I did. I, I, to be completely honest, I don't think I would have gone out and bought any of the new Primaris stuff, I just think I just would have got the Dark Imperium box set. So that leads to a bit of a situation where maybe these guys in a way have provided GW with more money um, again that could be debated that could be torn apart but that's the kind of way I see it um, I know it it leads to a very tricky situation that people are gonna have opinions on what's right and what's not right but at the end of the day GW as a company as themselves have to protect their IP and I, the sad thing is is that this these these sites are for us hobbyists. I know someone's making money off them, and I know that maybe that's maybe bad through GW's eyes. But I wish maybe then GW would try and come out and provide us with this kind of stuff. We're only buying it because people want that kind of stuff. If GW opened uh, a decal shop or something, and they had like you know executioner decals and all these other miscellaneous decals from other other chapters and stuff like that then props to them I would use that every single time but they don't have that so I'm forced to go elsewhere to get that need this is this is the the murk, uh, the mucky water problems which is surrounding this whole situation is that is it right or is it wrong in a way it's right and in a way it's wrong of course it's breaking some of the stuff is blatant, basically copyright infringement. I'm I'm not going to deny that. And some of the stuff really isn't. Some of the stuff is kind of innocent. Some of the stuff is very very guilty. But at the end of the day, it's going to people who are buying into the hobby itself and buying all these models from GW. It's not like you know it's straight up recasters or anything like that. You know those those kind of things I can completely understand. But at the end of the day, I'm I'm buying these shoulder pads so I can fit them onto a 10-man unit of guys I've just bought from a GW shop. So you, at the end of the day, you you guys are getting the biggest chunk of change, and you're bringing me more into the hobby. That's that's the kind of sense I've got around this situation. I know other people are going to be on the other side of the fence, but that's the way I see it at the moment. Um, from going on from here and looking at this chap's website I don't know what he's going to do I don't know if he's going to re-upload them um, I'll try and keep up to date with everything if you're watching Pop Goes a Monkey you know you've you you had uh, a great shop uh, I really do hope for the best because you did really supply us with uh, a lot of quality content um, I, but at the end of the day GW has to protect themselves so you know you can't really blame him on that front I know there's uh, got to be some debates on certain products which uh, he says they're basically his own design and stuff like that and GW have claimed that's where I think the some of the blood and tears is got to start mixing and uh, we're going to start seeing some debates on that but I can you know when you go into the website and you can see certain things uh, which are blatant GW stuff then you can't really argue of that and on on a side note I think this is why like some of the chapters have been put on a back burner for example the Templars I, I, you really don't see anything in the templates anymore, and my main my main suspicion is is that GW can't copyright them, so you can't copyright the Templar cross because it's you know I think what's it called the Maltese cross you can't really copyright that they they can't claim that as their own. So I personally think maybe that's why they put Templars on a back burner because other companies will start coming out, start producing content for Templars which will take away from them. So I'm, 
maybe I know I don't know maybe that's that's my personal opinion on that subject so uh, I hope not I hope Templars get a brand new codex soon because I would love that I'd love to make a Templar army I know I'm stuck in my execution army at the moment but I'd love to make a nice Templar army um that's basically it. I just wanted to give you a little quick update for people who use this guy. Um, go over to his Facebook page, show him some support if you want. Uh, again, I'll, post, I'll put that in the comment section below. Uh, and tell me what you think. What do you think about this whole situation? Is it right? Is it wrong? How do you feel? Have you used one of these third-party sites before? Are you uh, planning on using one? Uh, have you got third-party decals, shoulder pads, everything? Just let me know what you think. Is it right? Is it wrong? I would love to get your feedback and discuss it with you uh, helpfully in the comment section below. So thank you for watching the vod uh, video. Bloody hell, I can't even speak. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, and I shall see you all very, very soon. See you, brothers, and bye-bye.